MGA Thermal is an Australian company on a mission to store renewable energy at an industrial scale using their proprietary metal super alloy. MGA Thermal describes their breakthrough energy storage system as the missing piece of the puzzle for heavy industry decarbonisation. That was back when they hit the headlines for all the wrong reasons, a fire that engulfed their first demo plant. But that was 2023. Lessons learned, the 5 megawatt hour, 500 kilowatt system has now been successfully commissioned and claims to be three times more energy dense than the competition. It's a remarkable system using innovative materials and high temperatures to make energy storage cheaper and more accessible. But is it truly revolutionary or all just hype? I'm Ryan Innes and this is a Zero Deep Dive. Over the last few weeks, I've read through all of the company's articles that I can find and chatted with the team building this system to boil it all down to just the best bits. I respect your time, so we'll get straight into the inspiration for this project, how it works and how it's getting on in the real world. It began with research at Newcastle University in Australia, where its founders were testing a new type of super alloy that they felt could improve how we store energy. This super alloy, called MGA, is the secret to the high storage capacities of MGA Thermal's system. It is dispersed into granite blocks as pellets, which turns it from something you would find in a pencil to something ready for a deep tech startup. Stacked together in an insulated container, these blocks can store excess renewable energy using abundant materials. But what makes this metal graphite battery so powerful is the use of latent heat. Latent heat is the amount of energy needed to change the phase of a material. For example, melting something, taking it from solid to a liquid without changing its temperature. I always find this graph a useful reference. It shows how we can keep adding thermal energy to a material, but it doesn't actually increase its temperature as it goes from solid to a liquid or liquid to a gas. This is because all of that thermal energy has gone into changing its phase, not heating it up. This is extremely useful as it means we can keep adding thermal energy into our battery, therefore storing more of it, without it actually heating up. Therefore, we can store more energy at lower temperatures before worrying about melting all of the equipment around it. The idea of using phase changing materials is nothing new and has been used by companies like Sunamp for home energy storage for about a decade, but not at the high temperatures needed for industrial heat. The core of MGA Thermal's energy storage system is of course the MGA itself. Miscibility gap alloy is a term coined by the founders of the company and it means it's a patented blend of metals to get the perfect alloy they need for their application. The exact blend of metals in the system isn't public, as it's all part of their secret source to make sure it melts and solidifies at the correct temperatures whilst maintaining high thermal conductivity. This conductivity is important, because if heat can't flow through the blocks quickly enough, it means some parts of the battery won't be heated or cooled effectively, and therefore is being partially wasted. When I first read about this, I thought the MGA just referred to the metal pellets that were inside the block but it actually refers to the whole block itself, which is the alloy. Having a miscibility gap means the materials in the alloy don't mix as they are heated and cooled during charging and discharging. Because of this, the graphite blocks are the containment heroes that can hold the molten metal at temperatures upwards of 700 degrees Celsius. And as the metal heats and cools, the graphite block can withstand the expansion and contraction. A great analogy I heard for the block from MGA in a video from Engineering with Rosie was that the graphite is like a muffin and the metal is like the chocolate chunks. As the muffin heats up, the chocolate melts, but the whole cake stays solid thanks to the muffin matrix around it. That's the theory, but how's it getting on in the real world? But before that, a quick message from today's sponsor, Udu who can help improve your new or existing business's efficiency. Udu is an all-in-one business management platform that means you don't have to rely on an increasing number of paid software subscriptions. I'll show you how simple the invoicing app is, but Udu can do so much more, like CRM, accounting, project management, building websites, stores, and everything in between. Udu's free-to-use invoicing app 
speeds up and simplifies one of the most frustrating parts of consulting or running a business. The clear and easy to use software allows you to create an unlimited number of professional invoices instantly. Identify your customer, add products or services, set quantities, set a date and send. The customer can then pay the invoice straight from the portal. You can track payments and automatically follow up ones that are running late, which is a lifesaver for keeping things running smoothly. Udu records your expenses and transactions and incorporates AI that recognizes supplier invoice data. You can even sync your bank accounts for real-time tracking so nothing gets missed. Staying on top of your business's finances has never been easier. Udu provides many apps tailored to all industries, whether you're a small or large business or have a project or ongoing activity. Try it out for now as the first app is free for life, including unlimited hosting and support using my link down in the description or the on-screen QR code. Now let's look at the MGA thermal system in the real world. Okay, so now we've got a high energy density and highly thermally conductive block that can go through extended thermal cycling with no signs of degradation and store energy for up to 48 hours, all within modular stackable blocks. These have been combined into a 5 megawatt hour pilot plant that has about 3,700 blocks, each about the size of a shoebox and weighing 6 kilograms. Every block stores a little over 1 kilowatt hour of energy, which is about twice as much as the battery on my e-bike. So those are the building blocks of the system, a graphite block matrix holding an aluminium based super metal alloy. The blocks are heated by renewable electricity for the pilot plant via a resistive heater and the blocks are housed within an insulated container. To take heat out of the battery, nitrogen flows around the blocks and carries the heat to a heat recovery steam generator. The hot steam this generates could be used for industrial heat or in some cases to generate electricity through a steam turbine. It is also possible to use heat to heat up the thermal battery, for example if using geothermal or concentrated solar power, though this appears to be a less common method for MGA. But just how efficient is this system? Well, in terms of heat loss and steam production, it's highly efficient. The system itself is virtually lossless. Very little heat leaks out of the system. According to MGA Thermal, it's about 98% efficient for charging and only loses about 2% of its heat per day. In total, MGA Thermal says the system achieves an electricity to steam round trip efficiency as high as 93% and any heat that isn't immediately transferred into steam via the heat recovery steam generator is recirculated within the system to maximize efficiency. Generating electricity is much less efficient because you need to use a steam generator, resulting in just 35% round trip efficiency. But if the energy was going to go to waste anyway, and you can store it cheaply, it's definitely better than wasting it, though the main aim is to use the energy for heat. One benchmark that MGA Thermal use to measure their cost effectiveness is gas boilers, commonly used for industrial heating applications. The levelized cost of heat of their system in this graph, which is made by them, is slightly cheaper than a gas boiler, though it is close enough that I imagine a gas boiler company would come out with slightly different answers. Although it remains to be seen exactly how the pilot plant will perform, in theory, the whole system is stable and reliable enough for grid integration, able to deliver electricity or heat. It hasn't always been sunshine and rainbows for MGA Thermal. As I mentioned, they had a huge fire back in 2023. It was caused by engineers trying to make more bricks inside of the thermal storage unit, instead of their kiln. What they reportedly didn't account for was that as the bricks formed, they released heat. This caused uncontrollable heating, which soon got out of hand. The temperatures reached 1,200 degrees Celsius, and bulk CO2 tankers had to drive two hours from Sydney to stabilize temperatures and prevent a gas explosion. It took days to stabilize and apparently marked a turning point for the company, including a slight change in chemistry. Beyond some common challenges, like the need for large infrastructure investment, 
A unique challenge for MGA is their unique need for specialised brick manufacturing facilities, and ideally ones that don't burn down. Sorry, that was a cheap shot. Their current kiln reportedly delivers 100 blocks a day, meaning it would take over a month to make the bricks for the demo plant alone. On the plus side, however, the bricks are apparently fully recyclable, as all the component parts stay separate by design. What's more, the results from the demo unit are very impressive. According to MGA Thermal, it shows a 200-300% to 300 higher energy storage capacity than alternative thermal energy storage units, presumably those without phase-changing super alloys. The company's head of business said they had NDAs up to their eyeballs, but did share some interesting business applications. One is a minerals processing plant where they reduced annual steam demand by 13%. This was possible due to their ability to quickly turn the steam on and off when needed to reduce waste. There is also talks of a 180 megawatt hour plant, though that is still in its early stages. What sets MGA Thermal apart from competitors we've covered, like Rondo and Antora, is the high energy density from the phase changing materials. However, this adds complexity and cost, which need to be carefully managed. As with all deep tech rooted in advanced scientific research, this isn't going to happen overnight, but it's clear that progress is being made, and pretty quickly. From lab research to a pilot plant in just over a decade, even the fire chief who led the fight on the 2023 disaster said that he had encouraged MGA Thermal to find their feet and continue innovative efforts to deploy more clean energy solutions. As you're still watching, please consider subscribing. It's free and helps the channel a lot. You might also like some of my other videos, like this one on MIT's new fuel cell powered by sodium. And as always, thanks for watching.